29 April 2020, and today I want to talk about Zimbabwe millionaire or multi-millionaire Frank Buyanga. Frank Buyanga is embroiled in a custody battle with the mother of his son, and the mother of his son is called Shandel Mteswa. And this has now robbed in the Mnangagwa family in a very big way. So what has happened is that on the 30th of March, Frank Buyanga wrote a letter to the Judicial Services Commission and he provided them with certain information about the activities of the Mnangagwa family for assisting and for interfering with justice. So this letter is very, very specific. He is showing that he managed to obtain intelligence information about Mnangagwa's family's phone calls. So this is very significant because what it means is that Mnangagwa's family's phone calls have been compromised. In the document written to the Judicial Services Commission, Frank Boyanga says one of the Mnangagwa family members called the judge in the matter, who is called Justice Manzunzu. And this call was made 15 minutes before the judgment was delivered. The judgment was delivered and Frank himself says he did not know that the case had been set down. He blames Mnangagwa's son, Collins Mnangagwa, for mm -hmm. being part of what he calls Shandel Mteswa shenanigans. Frank said the only reason why he did not go after Collins was that Idi Mnangagwa was his old friend. So you must take note, he said that he was his old friend, which means currently they are no longer friends. He also names other people, people from the president's office. He also names other individuals. For example, there is someone who is called Delish Nguaya and someone called Malan Zorodzai Chiskwa as people who are interfering with Justice Manzunzu. However, the way that he mentions directly the names of the people in the president's family, it's clear that he's got backing. Remember, a few weeks back, uh, Frank Boyanga went into Harare and raided his son at gunpoint, and nothing happened to him. He managed to fly out of Harare International Airport on a chartered, a chartered flight and was only stopped when he was trying to get into South Africa. So this letter, it's an open challenge to Idim Nangagwa. This letter was also released publicly so that everyone can see what the Mnangagwa family was doing. Now, I want to go into how far can Frank Boyanga go to protect his son. Right, Frank is not the kind of person that is going to let this go. This case has been long running for a long, long time. It has been going on for months. So, in my opinion, this case is not yet over. Because what happened is, based on this case, Chandel Mteswa has now managed to get custody of the child. I've seen other documents mid-April where a court order was now given for Frank to give back the child. But I do not think Frank is going to let this go. He's going to continue fighting. Now, the question is, what kind of means does Frank Bianga have at his disposal to fight the Mnangagwa family? And my view is that Frank has got a lot of resources at his hands to fight the Mnangagwa family. He's one of the richest people in Southern Africa. Mm -hmm. He's got a portfolio of over 400 properties across Africa. So he's got enough money. He's got millions of dollars at his disposal to fight the Mnangagwa family, either legally or otherwise. So he's not the kind of guy that the Mnangagwa family would want to fight with. And given what has happened recently, the security implications of fighting someone like Frank is that the Mnangagwa family could actually end up having threats from within the security infrastructure of Zimbabwe. If you have someone who can pay someone $50,000 who is within the system, you suddenly have a threat within your own system which you cannot understand. You don't know where your threats are going to come from. For example, look at how the phone records of Mnangagwa and his family ended up in the hands of a private individual. It means that there's a lot of power behind Frank Boyanga. He's got people within military intelligence who are going to be able to support him. I've said before, 
that General Chuenga himself is an ally of Frank Bianga. You can see how much of powerful friends that Frank Bianga has got. Now, as for Frank himself, he does not back down from a fight. He's the kind of person that believes that it is his spiritual duty to fight. That's why you see that every time there's a fight, he's going to be personally at the location. When the child was taken from Chantel Mteswa, Frank was personally at the location. He did not stay in South Africa and order people to get the child. He was personally at the location where the action was taking place, which means if there had been a gunfight, he was going to be present when the gunfight was taking place. So from my observation, the Mnangagwa family have found themselves a match in terms of a fight. If they want to have a fight with this young man, they have found the right person to fight with. He is, has said in previous interviews that he does his things in such a way that if you win now, in 500 years' time, his children will still come mm -hmm. back and they will win. He keeps records of everything and it is my understanding that he's got records of video footage of very prominent people in Zimbabwe asking him for money during the time when things were really hard in 2008 many many prominent Zimbabweans went and asked for money from Frank and he's got a lot of footage of these people asking for money begging him for money and some of them had gone around and turned around and tried not to pay that money but still he has got all the records of all these transactions right I want to end with what is the role that Oxilium Nangagwa is playing in all this Oxilium Nangagwa apparently has promised people at a church or at a particular church that she's going to assist them to recover their properties from Frank Boyanga this is how she ended up being involved in this case so as I conclude I want to say I think the Nangagwa family have created for themselves an unnecessary but powerful enemy Frank Bianga is someone that can really take the fight to the Mnangagwa family I won't be surprised if some government agencies are wondering if he's involved in last week's accident that happened is he able to influence people within the system to turn around against the Mnangagwa family to the extent of wanting to go after Auxilia Mnangagwa right so I've given you enough information. I'm going to upload this document on gambakwe.com. This is the document, the letter that was written by Frank Boyanga to the Judicial Services Commission. If you're watching this on WhatsApp, send it to as many people as possible. If you're watching on YouTube and Facebook, please like, comment, and share.